James Freiberg, who served our country in the U.S. Air Corps and the U.S. Army. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give a rifle salute, caps, presentation of the flag, and presentation of the spent shell. I'll turn it over to my honor guard, Sergeant Slosher. Proceed.
and it was done so well. And Russ had a big part in that, and I want to thank you, Russ, and your team who put this together. Well worth it. Well, good afternoon. My name is Pastor Greg Bilber, and one of the pastors of First Lutheran. Thanks so much for being here. It's really important to take time to honor, to remember, to give thanks for Jim, for a life that he lived among us and for the legacy that he leaves. So we continue in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we remember Jim today and we thank you for his presence among us, for all the love and light, for the laughter and tears, for the good times and hard times. We give you praise. We ask that you would be with us now in this time of sorrow, that you'd remind us of your loving presence and bring comfort and hope to us in the days ahead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Most of you have a... Um, order of service for us today, and uh, would you join me in those words? We probably won't hear one another's voice, but voices, but would you join me in these familiar words from Psalm 23? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. James A. Freiberg passed away August 9th at the age of 99 years. He served his country proudly in both the Army and the Air Force. Who knows the many implications of the photographs that he took uh, during those years, what implications those had. Lynn, you have lovingly cared for your mom and dad over these months, losing your mom um, earlier this year, and now your dad. That's a lot to hear. So today, we mark an important passage. I did not know Jim, but Sally and Reed obviously did. And Sally, I'm going to invite you to come up and, and share a reading at this time. As far as Jim's, James A. Freiberg, served in the Air Force as a photographer, stationed in England. His job was crucial to ending the war. He would fly low over the bomb sites to send back information, proving targets hit or missed. Many a new order was based on his efforts. Your service we will honor at this new Veterans Memorial. Your name is to be engraved on one of the monoliths with the celebration to be on September 11th, Veterans Day. I'd like to say thank you, Alexandria, Minnesota, for this beautiful memorial. And thank you to all the vets for your faithful service. One of the people that uh, started this, Jimmy Kong, told me that there are more names in this memorial than any place else. Isn't that, isn't that something? The engraving, you could go up to them and it just, from the Civil War, when I brought my niece here, I think we both uh, felt overwhelmed, choked, to see this beautiful place in a town with 10,000 people. I heard her on the telephone saying, you would not 
believe it. 10,000 people live in this little town, and their monument looks like New York. And I kind of uh, agree with that. If my kids were up here, that remember their Uncle Jim. One of the first things they would say was, he never took off his jacket. Now, that does sound strange, but to the end of his life, he never took off his jacket. His wife would say, we're visiting, you're not leaving right away, take your jacket off. Well, you never know. He wanted to be ready. He had a really tough time at the end of his life. His daughter stood by him until the end. Five years she took care of an Alzheimer's father. She thought she could never do it, and every day she said, one more day. And then it got to be, I know, I can do it. One more hour. And she did. She cared for him till the last five days when the hospice took him in. And that's saying a lot. So if times get tough now, Lynn Fiber, you can handle it. It's a piece of cake compared to the care and love that you've given your parents. Whatever comes now, you can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. Thanks, Sally. I think about your dad. He had Alzheimer's these last years. Um, lost track of so many memories. But the good news is, is God never lose, loses track of us. And God never forgets. God never, in fact, Scripture says God knows the number of hairs on our head. God cares about the most minute of details. And that's why today is important because every person deserves dignity. Every person deserves to be remembered, to have their name remembered. And so that's what we do today. We remember James. And we give thanks for him. And God shares in our grief, in your grief, and is present not only today, but walks with us in the future. Let's pray. Lord, we entrust Jim to your, to you for your care and keeping. We are assured of your presence in this place. Strengthen and preserve us as we say farewell to this precious loved one. Comfort us with the blessing of your continued presence, both now and in the days to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, they will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. We pray together the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For mine eyes have seen your salvation which you prepared in the presence of all. Let us read these words of benediction and blessing together. Now may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace.